What the f I just saw some glowing eyes. And it was screaming. And it was right at my gate. My dogs have been going crazy barking out here for hours. Yo, I know I ain't crazy. I know what I fing saw. You guys okay? There goes right there. Is that? You guys did really good, okay? Yes, you did. You guys aren't injured or anything, are you? Are you okay? You okay, Dak and Gracie? I love you guys. They love when it's a little cold outside. They just love it. I swear I saw some glowing eyes right at the gate back there. I'm like so afraid to even go back there right now. No, I'm like screaming. I don't know if I caught it on camera, but... Oh, maybe it was just a cow. Oh, no. It sounded like a cow to me. Was that a cow, guys? You guys wouldn't bark at cows like that. Or maybe they would. You guys are filthy. So I really don't know what that was i think maybe the sound that i kept hearing might have been another cow i've never heard cows really sound like that but of course i've never owned bulls so maybe that's a sound that bulls make i don't know let me know because i'm kind of new to the whole farming thing i'm not gonna sit here and act like i know what i'm doing because i don't i got any boogers Today's gonna be a great day. We got a lot to do here at the Safe Haven Ranch. There's always something cool here happening at the Safe Haven Ranch, whether it's for the animals or here at the property or just doing fun stuff in general. You're invited. I'm kind of regretting what I'm gonna do right now. Let me show you. Okay, not gonna lie, I'm a little scared as to what is about to happen right now. It's been a long time since I did this. I'm gonna let my animals free roam through the Safe Haven farm or the rest of the yard here as you can see my grass is pretty lush and green and it yeah it's not looking very good in there i want to kind of let them graze the only thing i'm a little concerned with is i just finished planting and spending a lot of money on my garden in the front i do have like my fruit trees and stuff which i will show you a little bit later off to the side got some uh, orange trees peach trees things like that i'll show you in a little bit but I do have that blocked off. We added some new fence to that side so they can't bother those. But the only thing is, if I start letting them free throughout the front, they could go after my brand new landscaping. Yeah, I'm a little scared about that. So being that we're outside and we're gonna be around them, we can kind of shoo them away if they start getting a little too close. But I don't know. Hiya, Dacky boy. There's your good boy. Dak just turned one years old. Yes, he did. He's such a good boy. And Gracie is a year old as well. Yes. You're so pretty. Okay, another reason why I have to kind of let them out of here is because I want to do like a spring cleanup. I mean, it's technically not spring. It's fall. But uh, it's kind of like spring. And we are going to be cleaning. Oh, you can definitely see the difference right here. Really green, not so green. So, yeah, I'm going to let them graze a little bit through this pasture here. But I have to go and clean up manually all of those little poopy piles. That's right. All right, just opened up the gate. I do have my front gate closed. I think the dogs are kind of scared because they've been shocked so many times. Yes, had a shocking experience. Okay, in case you're trying to keep giant dogs in their respected area, for me is a four foot fence. I have this solar electric wire. It doesn't hurt them. It's kind of like a an occasional jolt. It's not like a, you could almost hear it, see? But it's enough to kind of creep them out a little bit. Pigs don't like it very much either. But hey, it was the only thing that kept these guys safe because they kept jumping over the fence. That's right, yes. Guys are mischievous and they don't want 10 acres of land to roam no 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 they want the 20 across the street and the 30 across the street that way and the 40 acres that my neighbors own across the way and a lot of my neighbors out here are farmers they have animals too and if they see dogs running around their yard they can shoot them and they have every right to if they feel like they're threatening their flock of livestock i don't know that's just scary to think of i'd be devastated if i lost one of these guys because i wasn't responsibly 
keeping them in an enclosed area. Lamar, you're looking so much better. I just had to have the vet over. He had the same condition that Macy had where her skin was like really dry. And Dixie got it too, it's some sort of mite. So we just treated that. We're doing a little damage control too. That's another reason why I wanna get these guys out of here. I'm gonna clean up all the poopy, all in these paddocks, all of it. Hi, Rena. How you doing, baby? We also are cleaning up all the hay from inside the barn. And we're gonna be cleaning up this pile of dung over here. I kind of pushed it off to the side. So yeah, just cleaning up really good. We're gonna burn all this. What's up, Mona girl? Wanna have fun? Come on, let's go. All right, I have not let them loose in the yard since the house is completed. And I am gonna give you a tour of the Safe Haven Ranch home here in a little bit. But before we do that, I'm gonna let these guys have a little bit of fun, but I just don't want them getting near the house. And that's gonna be my biggest issue. Oh, there goes Mary Poppins. So I've been treating her for worms ever since I got her because she had a really bad parasite issue. And she keeps getting out. I usually have her in this little enclosure that we built over here, which that's going to be for the turtles. So I just got to just got to get them. The goats don't want anything to do with Mary Poppins, though. Sadly, they keep like kind of shooing her away. Hi, Tommy. Come here, Mary Poppins. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Old McOmar had a goat, e -I -E -I -O. So in case you're wanting to know if your animal at home has a parasite problem, I'm gonna show you how to look here. Okay, so you wanna look in their eyelids and see her eyelids aren't as pink as I'd like them to be. Actually, they're improving quite a bit. They were much whiter than that. When they start getting on the white side, you can kiss your baby goodbye. There's a scale like from one to five and she's like on the lighter side, but I've been treating her every day with Safeguard, gave her some ivermectin. The vet was here and looked after her. Uh, if you didn't know, about a couple weeks ago, we got this baby goat. She was found at an apartment complex and, oh, it's okay, baby, I'm sorry. And we took her in. We started treating her right away for deworming, but I was unaware of the doses. I should have gave her a little bit more dewormer and that's my fault once i got the vet out here he checked her and he was like okay we need to do this five days in a row with the safeguard and of course give her ivermectin i didn't know that she could have the ivermectin being so little and they confirmed that but hey she's improving she looks a lot better and she's really cute really really sweet i'm trying to get her a little bit more tamed which is another reason why i'm keeping her kind of like an enclosure i'm gonna eventually build maybe right this way like a huge enclosure for my animals just to kind of keep them in like an area where i could give them hay and whatnot and thing about the enclosure that i have for them like the barn it's kind of closed off on one side they do go there when it rains but it's not really a nice area for them to cool off so i want to kind of have like a open ended type pole barn for them and then i'm going to have little enclosures for them that they could kind of hang out in for maybe like a half a day or so to cool off. I'm gonna put some fans. I don't want to lose any more animals to heat exhaustion. If you didn't know, I lost a llama over the summertime because of a heat stroke. And yeah, I don't want that to happen again. So but we're of course learning. I'm kind of new to the whole farming thing. I've had animals in the past, but you know, I'm new to goats and llamas and things like that. And I'm doing my very best. They have plenty of clean water. We watch over them. We're very good to our animals. They get checked by the vets all the time, at least once a month. But yeah, that's one of the things that the vet suggested was to have an enclosed area like a pole barn and have some misting fans for the animals. But I'm going to go above and beyond that and, and make some enclosures as well, have some fresh hay in there for them. And uh, anytime we're doing something like this, they can kind of relax in there and get some shade and cool off when it gets hot. I mean, even today, it's uh, I mean, it's not hot. It's actually beautiful. It's like a nice 80 degrees cools down at nighttime. We're not getting much rain, which is great. We need to figure out how we're going to get these animals out of the enclosures though, because they're so used to being in here. They don't even know that it's open. Are you eating dry leaves? Yes, you are. You're eating dry leaves. Lily, what are you doing in there? You're not supposed to be in the turtle enclosure. Hi, baby. Can I have a hug? Wait, why are you running from me? Come here. You're getting all crazy. <laughs> what? <laughs> she gets a little rowdy when she's enclosed like that, but that's her fault. 
Come here, Lily. Give me a kiss. Come here. Come here. Why are you being all weird on me? Okay, so Tiffany sent this video to me a couple days ago and I didn't think anything of it because occasionally we do get some cows that come over from the neighbors and I think they're really into Lily. She might be in heat or something. I mean, she's a young cow, young heifer, but she, uh, she could be in heat. Maybe it's attracting some bulls because everything that I saw cow-wise seemed to be a bull. I mean, from what it looked like. So I'm thinking maybe that's what I saw in the backyard. I don't know, you be the judge and let me know. I'm a little worried because my motion sensor that I have back there did not go off. Kind of scary. And we have a lot of patty cakes to clean up. All right. It's the only way I'm gonna get these guys to follow me. Cause look, the front door is wide open. You guys are missing out on some fresh green grass. I mean, look at it, it's just right ahead. Yeah, you're missing out babies. Oh, now you want to come and love on me, huh? Yes, you do. Oh. All right, it's going to be an ambush here in about five seconds. These guys get a little aggressive when it comes to their feed. Whew. Oh, gosh. Got the llamas already peeking. All right, guys. I got some food. I got some food. Got <laughs> your food, Mona? Got your food. Oh, they're all coming. This is fun. Oh, God. oh, she's slobbering out the mouth. This could be really bad. Uh-oh. Oh, she don't even care anymore. Oh, look. She's excited. She don't even care about the food. She's like, green grass. Ooh, this is like Christmas. Look at these guys. They haven't been out of here in months. <laughs> Okay, Thelma wants the food here, baby. There you go, I'm not gonna tease you. There you go. Come on, Tommy boy. Hi, Dixie. <laughs> All right, you guys just stay away from my house, okay? Please. <laughs> hey, Lamar. Hi, Dixie. See, Dixie has this skin condition too. So we're getting that treated. We did take some precautions though, in case she could be pregnant. You can see it right there on her backside. We've been spraying some stuff on her. That actually looks a lot better. All right, you guys stay away from my house though, okay? <laughs> the dogs stay right in their area. They won't even leave. That's a baby. Come on, Pepper. <laughs> Come on, Dak. Come on. Oh, there you go. Oh. Oh. You guys be good, no digging holes. As you can see, got the animals still really close to the paddock area. The dogs on the other hand, they've already made their way towards the front of the property. This had to keep an eye on them. It can get a little stressful at times. If it gets bad, I'm gonna have to grab them and put them back and close them off because they just, they're a little too adventurous. They wanna explore and they do not listen for anything. So I wanted to show you my brand new fire pit. I always wanted like a nice outdoor fire pit area. And I saw this idea on Pinterest and I kind of made it a little bit better. I got some railroad ties. I got those at Lowe's and I put some rocks. That's about, I wanna say maybe two or three yards full of rocks. And you can get those pretty easily, I mean, I know there's probably some people watching this video where you're like, yo, you pay for rocks, we get rocks for free. Well, unfortunately, we cannot get rocks for free where we live because we're here in Florida and the only rocks we have are maybe like 100 feet below our soil, which is limestone rock. But yeah, I made this fire pit, me and my cousin, and we got some free firewood for free. Got that on Facebook Marketplace. Kind of did somebody a favor, which was nice. We hauled off all this extra i don't know trees like that they had and we just using it for firewood it's been sitting out in their backyard for about a year which is perfect for burning and this is our little area it does get a little cooler at nighttime, so it's nice to just sit out here and relax hang out with family and friends okay there goes the dogs they're chilling just don't want them to escape come here gracie come here gracie <whistles> see how they don't listen they just don't listen they're very independent They've already made it to the front of the property and they can easily fit underneath that gate. So I'm gonna have to keep a close eye. Uh, I hope, I really hope you don't make a dumb decision, Gracie. I can't just stay out here and watch you all day. 
But I do want you to run and play. I want you to have a good time today. And just like that, my dogs escaped. There's my house right there. I have about 10 acres of land and it's not enough for a dog. There goes my neighbor, very nice guy, my buddy Phil, and he has my dogs. All right. All righty, I'm glad we got them. Dogs are safe back in the paddocks, but I see the animals starting to make their way to the front of my brand new landscaping around my house. Got some new trees, and I do not want them eating from the trees of knowledge of good and evil. Of course, then I will have to ban them from the Garden of Eden. Look at these guys. <laughs> my neighbor scared them away. My neighbor loves when I have the animals in the open like this. Uh-oh, they're getting close to the house now. No, don't eat my plant. No, Lily. That's fine. No. You give these guys an inch and they want a mile. That just already going after my nice trees. No. No. No, Mona. Get out of here. Look what you guys did. My mom gave me this. No, no, no. Not around my house. I don't think so, Miss Pepper. All right. Got these guys. I mean, not exactly where I want them, but they're away from the house, not eating from my garden, which is great because I caught them over here, trying to eat my plants, especially the tree around the side over here. For some reason, the cows are loving that tree right over there, and I paid a lot of money for it, and it was a pain in the butt to dig. We had to use a, you know, one of those, yeah, my neighbor has one, so we borrowed it. Big hole, real big hole. But they're happy, and I'm glad. Did have to put the dogs back in the paddocks. It's just for their own good. They want to get adventurous and I don't want them running off like they did. I was literally like, I don't know, within two seconds, I look and they're gone. And they're in my neighbor's yard smelling his deer meat because he went hunting the other day. Don't know why this guy is burning up on me. And I put him in some pretty good soil. I mean, it could be because we had a little bit of cold weather, but I'm watering it really good. Paid $130 for this. So yeah, I don't want animals eating my trees and my shrubs. No way. All of this is pretty good during the winter time too. I did run out of rocks. Got to get some more. You know, I actually am not a fan of these limestone rocks. I put them down and I don't think I like them very much. Just because you could see leaves on top of them and stuff. I almost would prefer like maybe like a peat moss or like a dark mulch. I might actually dig all of these rocks up. But I did put a, a barrier, kind of like over there. I don't know. Let me know here in the comments. Should I just finish what I started? Or should I dig them up and put mulch or peat moss and maybe find somewhere else to put this? Okay, I've been out here for a couple hours now just kind of looking after the animals. Of course, I've been doing stuff outside too, like watering my plants and cleaning, things like that. I still have not been able to go back to the paddocks and do the cleaning that I wanted to. But important thing is animals are happy and they're safe, house is safe. I managed to do this really cool hack I gotta share with you. And this seems to be working. I turned on my sprinklers. Now my cows aren't into this tree like they were. And the goats are way over there. I don't know where the cows are, but they're not by the house. There goes Dixie and Lamar is over there, but they're away from the house. They're happy though. They're eating some fresh grass. It's not full of Mona Poopy, and there's plenty for them to eat. Oh, up close. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, for the most part, sprinkler thing did work. A couple hours later, actually. All right, let me get around this thing so it doesn't wet my camera. Here's the thing, though. I do have a little bit of a small issue. My animals, even though they were deterred from this area, bad girl Mona. I saw you. I saw you. There they go, and they're doing pretty good. But uh, they decided to start eating the pipes. Well, not the pipes, but the insulation on my pipes on the well. And I did try to hook up this little sprinkler system, but I forgot that I ran it over with my lawnmower about a month ago. Yeah, the cows started doing that. And I think the goats were doing that. I mean, you know, th there's pipes under there, but this is insulation in case it does freeze. I did pour some beer. <laughs> On it. I don't drink beer, but that was left here from a party and I started pouring that kind of did help Supposedly cows do not like alcohol. They did say vodka, but I don't have any vodka It's all I had in the fridge hard thing now is trying to convince them to come back to the paddocks and I don't know that may require bribing them with some food. I'm gonna give it a shot 
Oh my goodness. Miss Mary Poppins. She just stayed right here, didn't go anywhere else. She was perfectly content eating along the fence line. And she's doing great. We're gonna have to get her checked out in like another week or so. Keep giving her her medicine. She's doing really good with the deworming. Hi, Mary Poppins. You ready to go in the paddock, huh? Yeah. Are you chewing some gum? You got some hubba bubba? I want some hubba bubba. All right, you gonna let me get you? Come here. Just wanna pet you. I gotcha, I gotcha. Look who I have here, Mary Poppins. <coughs> you gonna say hi? <laughs> oh, so cute. Why you gotta be so cute for? Look at these cute little horns. Oh gosh. Oh, they're a little flimsy. Well, this one is. Oh, it's okay. Okay, let's get you in here. There goes Miss Piggy. How come you didn't come out with the other animals? I'm sorry. And there goes Miss Mary Poppins. Let's see how long that enclosure holds her for. She will probably be out of there in like 10 minutes. She's a really good escape goat. See? She's really trying to figure it out. I think all she has to do is jump through that like six hole right there. It's like a little bit wider. I saw Tommy Boy you could, would get out when he was little. These guys are only your friends when you're inside of their area. Like they listen to me. They go everywhere I go. But as soon as they make their way out there, look, she already got out. Look at that. Mary Poppins. Really, Mary Poppins? <laughs> did you fly out? She flew out with her little umbrella. Yes, she did. You're so darn cute, though. <laughs> Don't give me a lip about it. These guys get it. You guys want your food, huh? You guys want your food? You hungry little goats. Yes, you're so cute. Oh, oh, here she comes. That's the one that I want. Oh yeah, she heard the sound of food. <laughs> food for everybody. Food for everybody. Now it's trying to get the llamas in here. You get the cows, because you know, they're cows and they like to eat. Isn't that right, Mona? Here, I'm not gonna clickbait you. I'm gonna feed you. Come on, Lamar. Come on, Dixie. Come on, guys. Dinner time. Ooh, yummy. Is that good? All right, Dixie is the only one not coming, which is fine because she's a good girl. But Lamar, the cows, I got them in here. Well, almost. They're slowly making their way. Whoa. Oh, okay. Does that taste good? After eating grass all day? Come on, Lamar. Come on, Dixie girl. No, 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 no. They're getting out. No, no, no. Come on, guys. Come on. Look, I got some food for you. I got some food. Come on. Let's go. Let's go over here. Come on. Come on. Oh, here, I'm not going to clickbait you. Put a little food there on the ground. Oh! Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Here you go. Here you go. There you go. Oh, there goes Lily. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here comes my little cow, Rena. She's so cute. Whoa, whoa, okay. God, your head weighs like a thousand pounds. Lamar's like, I'm not falling for your clickbait, Dad. Look at him. He's just standing there. Come on, Lamar. Ow. Okay, Lamar. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come on. There you go. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Okay, I gotta close the gate now. Okay. All right, there's some on the ground for you, Lamar. If not, I promise I'm gonna come back, okay? I just gotta get Dixie. He's like, you tricked me, Dad. You tricked me. All right, this kind of seems to be working. Dixie knows that sound. She's coming. She's a little distracted. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but you know what? I'm gonna maybe go over here. Come on, Dixie. You want your food? Promise, I will feed you. Come here. Come here. Come on, baby. Oh, you wanna go in there? Okay. Let's go over here. That's a sweet girl. Yes, you are. I miss my Maisie, though. This is my best llama. These guys aren't as friendly. I low-key feel like they hate me. 
Come on. No, 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 no. Come on. No, 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 no. You guys think you're slick. Come on. Come on, Dixie. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get in here. I'll never do this again. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Clickbait. Clickbait. Okay, look, I promise. I'm not going to clickbait you like that. There's no food in there, but I'm gonna get you some real food. I promise, come on, let's go. I'm gonna get you some food. Cause you're a good girl. Come on, come on Dixie, let's go. I got you fam. Like Mona would say, I am a man of my turd. Yes. Lamar, no spitting buddy. That's right, you be nice to Dixie. Dixie, you're such a cute girl. She deserves some food. You already got some food, here. I'll give you some. There you go, buddy. All right, so I have Dixie kind of separated. That way she could have her own little bundle of food here. There you go. Got Thelma and Dixie in their own little space right here, just for a little while. You know, I don't know if I want to do that again. I just, I, yeah, I don't know. But anyways, I have another separate paddock all the way over there. It's where my shooting mound is. And I have some orange trees, peach trees. I have some lemon trees. I do have some avocados as well, mangoes. My neighbors told me that those may die, but the citrus stuff, the peach trees, those might be okay. Also have some star fruit, which my friend Roland told me is not good for your kidneys if you have some kidney issues. And I don't know if you remember, it's like maybe a year or so ago, I had to go to the hospital. It was because I had a kidney stone. Never happened to me before. I mean, it was very small, but it was single-handedly the most painful thing I'd ever endured physically. You know what I mean? Uh, not like mental. Um, it was uh it was very painful yeah they had to come get me an ambulance it was that painful supposedly it's more painful than even giving birth to some women and it's as close to a man having the the same feeling uh but a lot greater of course yeah kidney stones don't want to mess with them make sure you're drinking plenty of water and uh, not soda and that, that's crazy because i don't really drink much soda to begin with i drink a lot of water anyways but they could be even minerals in the water that's why it's good to drink spring water that have natural minerals because you're getting the proper minerals that you need in your body and when you're drinking purified water your body is going to make more of those minerals this is what i heard i'm not like a, a professional dietitian or any health type professional i would definitely seek advice if you're trying to get the proper info on that but that's what i heard that's kind of what i'm going by it does make a lot of sense ever since i started drinking just spring water versus purified water i haven't had any issues with kidney stones and i was just i mean it was just one time so i have some family members that had the kidney stone thing happen to them once and it never happened again so i'm hoping hoping it never happens again oh my god that was the worst but anyways supposedly star fruit which happens to be one of my favorite fruits to eat is uh yeah kind of bad on your kidneys it's not like i really eat it much anyways so i'm not going to say it contributed to my kidney issue the small little issue be nice guys okay so i'm doing something a little bit different in today's video i don't know in some of my safe haven vlogs or even just travel vlogs it's kind of a series of maybe a couple of days and i do that on purpose just so then you have a little bit more videos to watch but today i kind of forced myself even if it wasn't a long long video i still wanted to put together some content for you and it was i mean it's just how my day was okay like i it was um i thought that it was a fun day it may have been not so interesting for some viewers but it's okay it doesn't always have to be i also used a different camera this camera that you're watching me on right now it's a big camera and it shoots incredibly amazing i don't know if you can see what it looks like there this is my my rig that i got going on just to give you an idea i didn't have a mirror sorry i'm also filming in 60 frames per second it's a massive file in 4k but it looks so cool it's kind of like looking out a window it's kind of like real life so i don't know some people might like it some people don't but i it doesn't cost me anything to, it might cost me some extra time but it doesn't really cost me anything to put it out. If if you want to see videos like that, I don't know. Some probably don't care. It's just like, Omar, just upload a damn video already. But yeah, I kind of wanted to get into more daily videos if I'm able to. I don't want to really curse myself because sometimes when I say that I'm going to upload every single day and I get caught up in life or maybe I'm doing something, it just 
I get distracted and I'm not able to edit or maybe film something. I, I have a crazy busy life and I'm a dad and I have two dogs that are incredibly sweet, but they're kind of high maintenance too, if you know what I mean. And I got a bunch of animals back there that are high maintenance as well. Like it's just, yeah, I'm a farm dad. Plus I got my kids. They're, they're you know, kind of empty nester, if you will, but they're getting older. You know what I mean? They don't really need dad as much as they think they need me anymore. <laughs> I need them. I really do. I just feel so lonely without them. <sighs> They'll be coming over to the Safe Haven Ranch. Uh, well, at least Malia will. She'll be moving in pretty soon. So, anyways, um, yeah, that's that's really all I have for you. Gotta go for now before we leave. Give me some.